As young composers, we all know what it feels like to wish you had somebody in your corner, whether it's someone that's negotiating commission contracts on your behalf, or even just someone to guide you through the array of classical music presenters that are in our industry. This is especially difficult once you're out of school. My name is Saad Haddad, and I'm a composer based here in New York City. And today we're gonna to talk about an organization dedicated to that very purpose, young concert artists, and how you can apply to be their next composer in residence. Now, I myself have served this role since 2019, and it's almost time for me to hand off the reins to another new voice. Thanks to my involvement with YCA, I've been fortunate enough to have the opportunity to write two new commissions for two phenomenal musicians on the YCA roster, including a solo work for Scordatura Piano entitled Vignettes for Aristo Sham, as well as a new work for a soprano saxophone and piano entitled A Sonata for When Time Stands Still for the saxophonist Stephen Banks. He's actually going to virtually premiere that piece with pianist Zach Bjorken in March through a virtual concert series presented by Washington Performing Arts in partnership with young concert artists. So if you're interested in checking that out, I'll leave a link for that show down in the description below. In the last few years, they've helped me negotiate orchestral commissions, including a clarinet concerto for Kinan Asme and the Princeton Symphony Orchestra, as well as a new work that I'm writing right now for Gustavo Dudamel and the Los Angeles Philharmonic. This composer and residency program has been around since 1994 and has ushered in voices like Andrew Norman, Mason Bates, Kevin Putz, and most recently, Catherine Balch and Tonya Co, among several others. The next composer in residence will write three brand new works for young concert artists, each one coming with a commission fee of $6,000. This, by the way, is in addition to any other commissions that might come down the pipeline during the composer in residency period. The deadline is coming up fast, March 1st, 2021, so make sure you have your applications in before then. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the nuts and bolts, the application process. Now, before we get into it, you should be aware of two eligibility requirements. The first one is age. You need to be between 20 and 28 years old as of March 1st, 2021. And the second thing is your residency. You either need to be a US citizen or a permanent resident of the US. So if you meet both these guidelines, keep on watching. But if you don't, please consider sharing this video with another composer that you think does. All right, so once we have those two items settled, what we're gonna do is actually go to yca.org slash composer dash program, and then we can follow along and actually do the application process together. All the materials that you need to prepare have to be emailed over to auditions at yca.org. These materials include a completed application form, which you can find on the website that I mentioned earlier. PDF scores and audio links of three original compositions. These need to include one, a work for solo piano or a duo for any solo instrument or voice plus piano, two, a work for chamber ensemble, and three, an additional work of your choice. Now, just to give you an idea of what I submitted, for the first category, I sent in my Command Fantasy, which is scored for violin and piano. For the second category, I submitted my first string quartet. And for the third category, I wanted to demonstrate my orchestral work, so I submitted my piece, Takt. So what they're looking for mainly is an ability to write for a variety of ensembles and settings. If you'd like, all the scores and recordings that I just mentioned can be perused by clicking on the links down in the description below. Next up, you're going to either send in your resume or biography. It doesn't really matter which one, I can tell you that I personally sent in my resume because I thought that expressed who I was in the quickest way possible. But for you, if it's your biography, you should just send that in. Then you'll need to submit two letters of recommendation from professors or professional musicians specifically describing your potential for a career as a composer. These recommenders need to email their letters directly to that same email address that I mentioned before auditions at yca.org. I highly advise you to ask your two potential recommenders as soon as possible, and whatever you do, don't wait until February 28th. Lastly, there is an application fee of $40, but you can request financial assistance for this if you email auditions at yca.org. When I applied three years ago, actually, the fee was $85, so they did lower it considerably this time around. And once you've completed all those steps, you're all set to go. If you have any questions about this application process, you can leave them down in the comments below, or you can just reach out to me individually. 
I wish you the best of luck and I look forward to welcoming in our new composer in residence.